Hello everyone, it's BYG Agami back with another video. I'm joined with Dimzy's Domain. Please introduce yourself. Yo, what's good? Dimzy from Dimzy's Domain. Happy to be here and talking about Yu-Gi-Oh! The 6th series. Now with the 6th series coming out yesterday from Jump Festa, we got this new way of dueling, which is on hoverboards. It will be linked down below on Dimzy's channel. We discuss about it. What sort of sparked in my mind was, where does this take place in the timeline? Because if you look at it like this, it sort of looks like a new version or an improved version of turbo dueling. And I personally believe that this it takes place place in the original timeline, which stated by the 10th anime complete guide is Duel Monsters, 5Ds, and GX take place within the same universe. Yeah, I think I think this could easily be placed after 5Ds. He has that 5Ds-esque feel to it because of the fact that when 5Ds, um, you know, where you say was the satellite, etc., it was more so a desolate area. So this could be after it's been refurbished and renovated and you see them implementing a school system and that's that's maybe a, a little callback to what we saw in GX with where they had dual academies because when we see Yusaku wearing a school uniform it's kind of funny because he's wearing a tie as well and that's something to to notice as well although I guess Yuzu had a little tie yeah it's, it's a proper like prep school he might be a wealthy person and the protagonist is poor so they might flip it <laughs> that could be that could be like very very plausible in that sense but you look look at him he's wearing a blazer he's wearing a tie whereas when you go to GX it was very flamboyant and at the same time not flamboyant but it was more casual you had colorful jackets very clear to stand out what each of them are where they belong to etc but this one it does seem like he's just going to a regular high school so for this in terms of time placement i, I don't want to waffle one and uh, ramble on this one fact but his attire seems very bland very just casual and not casual but very normal astute to a usual schoolboy. and if you want to add in the fact that this guy is trying to find his place the show's theme is take a step forward and try he's trying to find his place and get noticed and become more and more maybe not popular but just more certain with what he belongs to and where he belongs so that works when you add on the fact that what was 5Ds all about? 5Ds was about redemption, but at the same time, claiming back what is truly theirs. Essentially, claiming back their identity in terms of you say Jack Atlas, the and friendship. The city, the, city, yeah, the dominant the city. city. exactly. And neo-dominant city. So that's why I agree with you that I think it's going to be part of the main timeline. And it's not even that. It's easy to do. They could just say this, oh, turbo dueling was a thing like 50 years ago, 40 years ago, or, or they can leave it ambiguous. They could say a while ago. And then they could just say that this is the new version of it and they could probably incorporate turbo dueling if they wanted hey remember this when we saw the hoverboards on on that picture recall that hoverboard dueling or just the hoverboards itself was first introduced in Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds with Lecter yeah, yeah. who mm -hmm. was part of Iliasta when he was fighting Leo and Luna so and they're going on like that date sort of or just exactly out. exactly so what they could do is probably just incorporate the thing that we saw in Arcview where they have a solid a solid state projection like a hologram etc to make it a little bit more active in that sense because they need to play off on what was introduced or the themes that have been introduced already in Arcv as well as Zexo. Now another thing about Zexo, do you reckon that it could be taking place in a completely different era separate from Arcv, separate from 5Ds, GX and Duel Monsters kind of similar to Zexo. do you reckon that could be the case? I mean they could they could they could do whatever they want but the, the safest way like in terms of just doing more stuff with it would be to put it in a different universe and just leave it ambiguous but I don't know I just feel like they're gonna put it in the Duel Monsters era do, do you think it that makes perfect sense the 20th anniversary as well as Dark Side of Dimensions and the hype with nostalgia included laced across the fans minds how they wanted and look we've done videos the fans of Yu-Gi-Oh were yearning and clamoring for a Duel Monsters remake or a reboot something to do with the original Duel Monsters cast so incorporating it into the original timeline can give that sense of that taste of nostalgia but that that flavor of something completely different and new and and this is what they could do so you know how like GX the GX GX was pure nostalgia exactly. in the sense of every episode like first episode we got Yugi and then like six episodes later we got Paradox Brothers and then Kaiba man what GX did was they tried to add a little bit of nostalgia bits here and there like this series can honestly do that in the sense of they can add reference points to Yugi Yusei and how probably Yusei invented this new dueling mechanic when he was gone through that eight-year time gap that might just hey, be my head cannon but you, but you have to recall that you know arc v with the dimensional um you know with them traveling through different dimensions I've, i'm not caught up on this so please no spoilers but they could also incorporate the fact that they kind of done nostalgia by kind of showcasing these alternate versions of certain characters so i don't want that i don't want that i want them to play off on the gimmick that hey this is the original time and look at the museum this is the museum like we saw in gx the the museum of the king of games etc we saw the deck the, and the, uh, yeah. Domino City Museum where exactly the memory tablet was held. Yeah, so 
I'm just hoping that it's something to do along the original timeline but if it is something completely different I'm fine with it because it has been quite a while remember this this is the sixth series of Yu-Gi-Oh just let that sink in how old is Yu-Gi-Oh it's 20, 20 odd years, years old 20, yeah 20 years and it's yeah it's a sixth series so they can't it may not be too plausible to to go from the fact that hey Although Zexel and Arc V kind of strayed away from the main timeline, this has come back to the main timeline. It does seem a bit inconsistent, but nonetheless, I would absolutely adore it and I would love it. I would love it. And I'm sure all of you lot down below, comment below. Would you like it or would you actually want something completely different? Or, or how about this? So like, what if they did this in the sense of if it does take place in the original timeline, rather than just doing, oh, bringing back the character, not even bringing back the characters, but referencing them. What if they just visited the place? Like it was just an upgrade version. Like they had the G academy yeah they had the they had an updated version of kaiba corporation or whoever the new holder is they had an updated version of industrial illusions it just all all of that they could they could play from the famous landmarks heck w wouldn't it be great to just maybe walk past grandpa's shop even though they don't visit it but they just they just they just try and make it so that they fit in the original time and they fit in these landmarks so that the nostalgia is there but it feels so fresh it's similar to you know in 5ds you had that one guy that looked like joey and everyone's like oh wow who's that you know the dub made that famous yeah, yeah, yeah. dub change and then there's oh. that person that was running crowler's deck exactly yeah see see we have to consider the fact that if they do tap into nostalgia if they do tap into the fact that dual monsters is still very popular dark side of dimensions is an insane success that would be the smart move from a business perspective what do you reckon would be the ideal length of time for this series to span because uh, because as we discussed in the previous video on your channel how we said the journey to the wiser tree to a wiser tree which is the the direct meaning translation for the name for yusaku fujiki where that's the direct meaning where you know journey to a wiser tree is it going to span over five years two years three years one year we saw yusei grow older by a little bit during the series and at the end he grew older by a bunch more years are we going to see something similar in that Sense. maybe it's a bit early to tell but uh, what do you reckon they're gonna try to keep it within a short amount of time like i think they're doing that for arc v did they do that for zexel as well they did they did indeed they did that for zexel as well so i don't know it's just that they're following the whole Yu-Gi-Oh thing even dual monsters was sort of similar like it wasn't that much of a huge time gap yeah besides the whole tim backstory but the whole modern placement of it the only thing that's ever had a and gx did of course with the whole 10 year gap but that was prior to prior to Jaden's story exactly so it's like the only thing that's ever had such a significant gap was 5Ds where well, they the had end, the satellite the, the satellite was 20 years and that was in the beginning of the story that was the initial start of it but that was before we met our main protagonist uh, in terms of yeah they told but the story throughout a year father. or so we saw his father and then we saw Yusei going into the pod and then he left see look here's one question do you reckon that he's going to stay a high school student throughout the series I believe that he might complete school somewhat two thirds maybe halfway during the series and then he might deal with other things because that would be the perfect way high school and then he's dealing with the stress of going into college or trying to find work or trying to find or getting into certain programs certain scholarships that would be a very nice way to show realism and showing that Yu-Gi-Oh is trying to be more realistic as I said earlier it's trying to be similar it could be similar to Digimon Adventure Tribe where we have them dealing with the problems of the real world as well as them trying to deal with the digital world which is their own little side story their own fan fantasy fantastic little adventures here and there I want to see him find his find himself whilst he is continuing and tackling the obstacles of school but then at the same time he finishes school and he uses what he's learnt from school and moves forward and just see how he progresses that's the best way for him to become a wiser tree <laughs> now personally this is what I think is going to happen so like we see Jin Jin tries at the academy and then for the next four seasons or well for the next three years that pass on he, his graduation duel his, his pass to graduate was to verse the Ami Yugi in a duel yeah so they might do something like that where he caps off with him ending off in school and graduating here's one final question do you reckon that they're going to add in a supernatural aspect of let's say time travel or dimensional hopping or just how are they going to incorporate that's the one thing which i guess is very unknown but i see him i see them incorporating time travel because it, to be wiser you need to encounter someone who's older someone who has more experience so let's say they can't get that done within the series itself how perfect would it be to time travel back and have meetings with let's say old protagonists and old old canon within the universe that we're enclosed in not like arc v where you have alternate versions of certain characters we are familiar with but i'm talking about him this yusaku fella 
meeting, let's say, Jaden meeting Cyrus, meeting Zayn, but the original versions through the aspect, through the vehicle that is time travel. That would be hoverboard. absolutely, yeah. <laughs> If you think of like a back t- to the future type thing. You just cracked it, mate. You just cracked it. <laughs> nice. This is this is what I think. I think that they're gonna have some sort of element like the Crimson Dragon, U Bell, uh, the Millennium Items, and then for Zexel and Arcvi, I don't know. I, I think for Arcv it's the rings. For Zexel, what is Zexel? It's it's the key and and the Baryon war against the you know people of Astral or Planet Astral etc. So there is that whole supernatural aspect, but at the so, same time, in my opinion, um, although Zexel had the strongest one. Of the strongest arcs in terms of variants it was very iffy with the characters they had to play with in terms of humor because i think he was a very poor character and from the initial outlook of the biography of let's say uh, yusaku uh, i think there's promise there just from his character design and from he doesn't look like a wimp yeah he doesn't look like a wimp but at the same time he doesn't look like a all-knowing super dude like let's say you say and yugi. him <laughs> or, or yugi and him being 16 is a far it's a big difference from let's say yuya who is 14 years old as well as yuma who was 13 years old which was very annoying from the fact that they were so immature and that's just the way forward i think there is premise there he's gonna start at 16 is he gonna end at the age of 18 19 probably Heck, 19 somewhere around there that's something to really look forward to man and man i can't wait to see like his what are your thoughts on his character design i think his character design is amazing but then again we're gonna speak about that in the next video so yeah thank you very much for watching and thank you for coming by dimsy guys check out dimsy's video on the dueling style that's been introduced in this this sixth Yu-Gi-Oh series and check out the video we're going to be talking about as we dissect because it's in the link down below but we're going to dissect the character design and what it could mean for Yu-Gi-Oh going forward Yusaku Fujiki and with that I guess thank you and comment down below like share comment subscribe for everything Yu-Gi-Oh you love Yu-Gi-Oh we love Yu-Gi-Oh subscribe